Hello, hello, hello. In this video, we will be creating end-to-end -end machine learning Python project about prediction of the League of Legends World Championship. The video will consist of many parts from getting the data, preparing the data, plotting your amazing data, to writing your own machine learning algorithm, to launching and presenting your results. So without further ado, let's make the history. Boom, boom, boom. Welcome to the first part where we will be scraping this data from this side and we will be trying to store this data into object variable so we can work with this data later. As you can see, there is ranking of the teams from the last year. If you outline this table and press right mouse click and inspect there is html and css code for this website uh, and we need to scrape only the important data for us like the name of the team all the stats and that's probably all <laughs> code there is many ways how to do this, but in my opinion, the most comprehensive is to use the Python library Beautiful Soap and request the HTML with the library requests. I will import those libraries, import the requests, and also from BS4 import Beautiful Soap. First thing we need to do is to copy this URL to our code. I will store it into URL underscore LEC quotation marks and the link. The next thing is to scrape the whole HTML code into a object variable. To do this I will define function scrape leak data and we will use the function get from the request library. It will give us the HTML code. Page is equal to request.get URL. Put the parameter also here. Then defining the main the main. Then defining the main function where the all code will be run. Now we have the page, which is only the object, which is containing the content of this HTML. We need to get this content, not that object. Just put here the function, scrape data, enter the URL, also run the main function. Nothing will happen right now. I need to return the page and also save it to some variable print out the variable and as i said if i run the code the variable is only the object here but i need the content it is done like this that content and there is all html code but you need to initialize the beautiful soap to parse this code into sections and get only the valuable information for you. You are not interested in explanation mark, doc type, HTML, uh, duck, I don't know how it is called in English. So HTML page is equal to this object of beautiful soap. You need to put here page, content and the type of parser. Return the HTML page. I will call this HTML page and print out the HTML page. Now it is not only the HTML code but also the object of the beautiful soap so we can parse the data. As you can see everything is working. We got the whole page. Beautiful soap is a very powerful tool. You can scrape literally everything from this HTML. Look at the HTML and you see the, the team name is divided from 
it's stats. Like here are the stats and the team name is here. So it would be difficult to scrape all together. Firstly, we will scrape the team name and then we will scrape the stats. And last but not least, we will combine this data to one 2D list of lists where there will be team name and then the stats of that certain team and also the second team and its stats and so on. In HTML, you divide your code into sections. They have different names and so on. You don't have to care about this. But in this section, we see that the G2 Esports and all the other teams have title something stats in that year. So we will use this information. And if you want to play with your code around, here is the documentation of Beautiful Soap. There are all the functions, you can read the functionality, how to use them, and it's very useful to write your own code. Best practice for programming is to divide your code into the sections, like functions or classes and their instances to make it more readable, reusable, and all the other things, like testing is better. That's why I'm defining the parse teams name function parameter will be the html page we need to get the section where the names are written we saw the title is equal to that string for this the beautiful soap has a function called find all and then we have the section and we will scrape only the text and save it to the list to do this i will define a leak table is equal to html page dot find all now here will be the pattern and the name of the section. But first of all, there is a better practice to make it with regex. Regex are just the regular expressions how to find something in text. For example, like dot is representing any character and the star is representing the character will occur zero or infinite number of times. Pattern will is equal to re.compile for this regex we have another library import re uh, compile and you saw there is something stats in something 2022 in for every team raw string something stats in something 2002 when we are have the pattern i will put it here printing out everything will take a lot of time you can try it yourself now we have the the sections for example this is the section this is not the section we got but it is a section there is something something like link and we need only the plain text so i will define teams as a list for team in leak table team name will be equal to team that text only the text of the section append these names into this list will return the list of the teams and call the function it's equal html page print out the teams and we got nothing because i made a little mistake there is team that append but our list is called teams. Now everything should be working just fine. Run the code and you have all the names. We will do similar thing for the statistics. Statistics are saved in the same row of the table, which is TR is the table row and TD is the table cell. They are saved different wave. They don't do not have a title. So we will scrape those data together. To do this, we need to find the, the table, its row and the, its cells and scrape only the text as we have done with the names. I will define the function parse themes stats. The argument will be the same HTML page. To find the rows, I will use team rows is equal to that HTML page that find all now not the pattern but the tr there is like the first row is not the statistics but wins loses and all the things 
so the r and list slicing from the like the second one and define the list where we will be storing these statistics teams that's the empty list and also the for loop for a row in team rows we need to find only the data we need because there is more cells in that row data cells is equal to row find all all td is for table cell which has class text center you can find all in that html because that html sucks so i need to do this now we have the cells for data cell in data cells we are parsing the cell to get only the text stats is equal to data data cell we only need the text and strip function is from the classic python library it will strip all the blank spaces and leave only the text the last but not least theme stats append the stats return theme stats and call it in the main function as we do before theme stats is equal to uh, parse theme stats and same html page i will print out also the stats run the code as you can see there are 10 themes you can print len parentheses the name of the variable but you can count from 1 to 10 it is useful that the len function for this second there are 50 of the stats like in our page 10 themes and 5 stats for every theme now we have all the required data and strip it to the blank spaces only our data not nothing more but we need to connect this theme with their stats and combine it into one 2d list combining the data shouldn't be a problem i will define function it will be called combine data parameters will be themes and themes data teams stats we saw that for every team there are there are five stats but i need to store it somewhere results is equal to empty list for every team in range length of that list of teams i will take the name of the team is done like this index y and we need to make somehow that every team have five stats so i will index the team stats list from zero to four for from five to nine and so on start index is equal to y times five yeah because it is from zero stats for name will be equal to team stats from starting index start index to start index plus five it doesn't take the fifth element it only takes zero first one second one third one and fourth one for the second iteration it will take the five to nine to combine this i will write variable name and stats the name is only the string and this is already a list so i'll need to write like this name in as a as a list plus that's for name append this into a result and return the result call the function combine data the result is equal to combine data with teams and teams stats print the result and you see we have 2d list where the first element is also a list with the name of the team and the stats. In the next tutorial, we will prepare this data with all the other leaks and combine them into one large data set. With plotting the data sets, we will get the graphs from which we will see what is important, what is not. We will decide what the best machine learning algorithm for this data. We will write it up 
algorithm and so on and so on. Make sure you are subscribing to this channel, hit the like button and share with your friends. See you next week with the part 2 of this end-to-end -end machine learning project. Peace.